With all children five years and older now required to wear a mask, it may leave many parents wondering how they'll get their kids to comply. Fox 12's Drew Reeves spoke with one pedi pediatrician who has some tips for parents who aren't sure what to do next. Drew? Yeah, that pediatrician says that it's important that parents help their kids understand that wearing a mask isn't something scary. Uh, even young kids can understand that this is an action that could save lives. When we go inside anywhere, they wear a mask. When we spoke to parents about their kids and face coverings a week ago, parents told us they were working on getting their children to wear masks and know why it's important. I don't think that he'll buy in to wearing a mask or, you know, socially distancing or following any protocols if he doesn't understand the why. And with face coverings now required for all kids five and older, Don Nolt, a professor of pediatric infectious diseases at OHSU, says understanding the why is important. Have the child realize that Wearing a mask protects other people around them, so they feel like a person is helping the big people around them, and also that it would help uh, them be protected as well. She says to help your kid get more comfortable with masks, put it on at home and look in the mirror, or try one on a stuffed animal, or get artistic. Another way that parents can have their child be more comfortable with wearing a mask is to draw a mask on a favorite storybook character in a book. But she says if you're out and your child refuses to keep it on, don't push it. But I wouldn't force a child to wear a mask. I think that's going to be very counterintuitive. In fact, forcing a child to wear a mask, they'll start screaming and shouting, and that's going to perhaps um, exude more secretions in the environment. So in that instance, maybe have the child step out. Parents told us they think mask wearing can be a good opportunity to teach children an important lesson. I think that the mask issue is a really great example for children to understand how much we really are connected and how cooperation uh, will help all of us. But doctors say to make sure those masks are worn correctly. A mask should be um, fitted well, so it should fit snugly on the face, but not constricting. And we should ask the child to make sure their nose and their mouth are covered. And Dr. Nolt says that this could also prove a challenge for teachers come this fall who teach young children, but she says that she does believe that teachers will be able to come up with creative ways to make sure that those kids keep those masks on. Reporting live in Beaverton, Drew Reeves, Fox 12 Oregon.